for the moment, a two-point Biden lead over Trump in this new Fox News poll. It's 50 to 48 within the margin of error. Independence had been breaking for Trump by two in the last Fox poll. Now they're breaking for Biden by nine, and that raises the stakes for both men in next week. And wages has been outperforming inflation for I think 12 straight months, if not longer. So we're seeing some really good things. We still have an incredibly strong job market. Wages are doing well. So I think there's a lot of good things that- Oh, that's gonna hurt. Is Murdoch's minions on vacation this week or something? Because that's a few instances in which guests have been allowed to go off script and dare I say, speak the truth about the state of the economy in America. The polls, the national nationwide poll, uh, Biden is now leading. How do you explain that? It's going to go back and forth a lot between now and November. I'm sure that Trump's conviction has made somewhat of a difference for Biden. But remember, we have this debate next week, and that could also change a lot. We could see another flashback to Trump going ahead in the polls uh, himself, depending on how Biden performs. So I think that a bit of turbulence is to be expected. Absolutely. This debate is huge. It's huge for President Trump because we see in our Fox poll, Biden leads among independents by nine. As I mentioned in a video earlier this week, Donald Trump trailed President Biden in a Fox News 2024 presidential poll for the first time since late last year. And of course, the Mar-a-Lago walls were lathered than ketchup as Trump voiced his disdain. Look, I saw these numbers and I had to pause, Stephanie, because within those numbers, it showed a nine point increase with independent voters. And so I'm thinking about what contributed to that. Of course, Trump's convictions likely contributed to that. I, and then I also saw a very interesting point related to the economy, Stephanie, where 58 percent of voters said that their personal financial situation had improved or was holding steady right now. Now that is something that Democrats are absolutely likely to latch on to. This was the first time that Biden led Trump in a Fox News poll since October of last year. And if you were like me, this would have come as quite a shock considering most Fox viewers are inundated with takes such as Biden is the actual dictator, not Trump. Uh, under Joe Biden, uh, we're actually living under a dictatorship today where he's you know, bypassing Congress on immigration policy, he's bypassing Congress on protecting our border, he's bypassing uh, Congress uh, on student loan forgiveness, and he's defying the Supreme Court. I mean, those are the things that authoritarians and dictators do is they don't follow our democratic processes and they just assert their own liberal uh, view, and that's what the Biden administration is doing. And Trump is kind of like Jesus because Jesus Jesus too was persecuted. Story, and yes, m many of us, none of us here on, on the sofa of, um, or the curvy couch have gone to prison, so right. we can't relate to that message, but I can relate to the overall message that God uses the least likely. Look at the disciples, they were fishermen. Yeah. Yeah. You know, they were probably cussing out there on the boats and God said, you follow me, and they did. Look at Donald Trump. I mean, yeah. who would have thought he would have been president one day yeah. when he was on our show for all those years I mean, and then God used him. What is it about Trump that you love so much? Uh, number one, he's a godly man. He He's working for God, for darn sure. Right, I must have overlooked the passage in the Bible in which Jesus was convicted for using campaign funds to pay hush money to an adult film star that he had an affair with while his wife was at home with their newborn. Maybe it's in the $60 God Bless America Bible. One factor that, according to the Fox News poll, has contributed greatly to this several point shift in Biden's favor is that more voters are considering the US economy to be in, quote, excellent or good shape. And while I'm pulling out my hair thinking this has been true for some time. 18 million jobs, 800,000 manufacturing jobs, uh, the work that the president has done to lower costs for middle class families, uh, capping the cost of insulin, for example, at $35 for seniors. Uh, he's going to cap the cost of insulin for everybody in a second term. Uh, the $2,000 annual out-of-pocket cap for seniors on prescription drugs. It doesn't always penetrate the white noise broadcast into millions of homes across America. America night after night. Real quick, final question on the Dow, S&P 500, U.S. stock marketing all-time highs today, second record so far in 2024, if we can pop up the Dow. What's happening here and, and what, I don't know. I, we were scratching our heads earlier. Enjoy. You're talking about the resiliency. I, I can give you my take. I, there's, I think there's still great anticipation that the Fed's going to cut rates this year. I, I agree. I think that's exactly right. Um, it may be setting up for disappointment. Um, on the other hand, Donald Trump has said 
several times the last few days, the stock market's rallying because it's anticipating that he will return to the presidency. Oh, oh, I just thought I'm I'm not I'm not. I'm not saying that analytically. That is his view. My experience with Mr. Trump uh, in the years that I worked for him, he's a very good investor. However, in this recent segment, Fox News contributor Robert Wolf decided to go against the grain a little. That grain being the likes of Biden is only overseeing such great job numbers to troll Trump. The hottest of hot takes on Fox News. Today at the site uh, in 2018 where Trump plan for the the Foxconn facility, which was going to bring a bunch of jobs to the area. Uh, Biden hosted his event today announcing a a semiconductor or an AI facility with Microsoft there. So not an accident to hold it in the same spot where, you know, Trump failed to bring that to fruition. Is is that what he's left with to, to just troll Trump? And wages has been outperforming inflation for I think 12 straight months, if not longer. So we're seeing some really good things. We still have an incredibly strong job market. Wages are doing well. So I think there's a lot of good things. that He did do well in the polls, better in the Fox poll, better than he's done before. And I think that was mostly independence. And I think mostly because they feel the economy is a little better. But it is true, the economy is doing well. And it's indicative of the miracle that the Biden administration have performed after inheriting a literal train wreck from their predecessor. You know, the man you'll find taking credit for things like lowering prescription drug prices while praying for the stock market to crash and lulling in the ever so fond memories of life four years ago. We're going to turn this country around. We're going to turn it around really fast. We're going to do the things that you've wanted to do. We're going to bring it back to four years ago and do even more. We did. You know, when there were literal brawls for the last toilet paper in the stores after Trump woefully mismanaged the pandemic, that same pandemic that he wants no responsibility for when it comes to the economy. Well, except for the gas prices and inflation during that recession where nobody was driving, so oil companies needed to sink prices only to price gouge once things rebounded and Biden was in office. All in the wrong place. I had no inflation and I had the greatest economy ever. We had gasoline at $1.87. Now it's four or five dollars. But by the way, they're working together with other countries, sadly, because it's artificial, because they're going to give it up right after the election. You've seen that before. But they're working to get gasoline prices down. It's an artificial reduction. But the gasoline was up to six, seven, eight dollars a gallon. And it still is very high. It's much too high, but we had- Yeah, that he wants to remember. Not the fact that he left with less jobs than he came in with or tripling the national debt to offer tax cuts for the 1%. But you know, those are just pesky facts. Who wants to know those? Yeah, Biden's approval is historically low. Why everybody, is that? Everybody, everybody, we're all, everybody's approval across the spectrum. You find exceptions to that. Look, it's been hard though, globally the last six, seven years, but again, America stands tall with a tentpole of the world economy. No peers economically. Again, a masterclass of delivery. The economy is booming, inflation is cooling. And of course, the economic strategies this president put together were all things Republicans dreamt of, but never delivered. He's delivered. I'd say Mr. Biden inherited a boom and turned it into a bust. That's Bidenomics. So almost surely the economy is headed for a significant slump. Now, it suffered inflationary recession in the first half of 2022, may be headed for a deflationary recession next year, 2024. Um, Look, it was a good quarter. Don't get me wrong. 3.3% beat estimates. And the last quarter was a good quarter, Mm -hmm. 4.9%. Absolutely. So uh, he gets his due. If I were he, I'd be out slinging that hash, too. No problem. <laughs> I, was, I mean, at my mea culpa, I was wrong about the slowdown in the recessions. Just as a broken clock is right twice a day, the truth at times manages to make its way onto Fox News. And it's always worth a good slow zoom on the host who, you know, is not expecting it. Well, look, this country went through COVID and I think that had a huge, huge impact and we're still recovering from it. But the question is, what is the choice? Here's what President 
President Biden wants to do. He's created 15 million new jobs. He wants to bring back manufacturing. He wants to raise wages for folks. He wants to lower the cost of prescription drugs. President Trump had four years. What did he do? He had corporate tax cuts. Many people benefited from it in Silicon Valley, in my district. And the question is, where do you think the economic vision of this country should go? I believe invest in the working and middle class. There's no doubt people are hurting uh, because we're still recovering from the uh, from COVID. But President Biden has a better economic vision. Sounds like it's all part of the federal investigation. But but Brooke, this all happened. Uh, during the Trump administration. Sure, it happened in the days after January 6th, of course, which was just two weeks, I guess, before the inauguration, January 20th. That is part of the Trump administration, maybe the Biden transition team, but I don't think that's really the issue here. You mentioned really... uh, Cabela's and Bass Pro and uh, Dick Sporting Goods. All places I shop at. <laughs> I was at the big one <laughs> in Kansas do. City uh, a suffer. couple of weeks ago. You know what uh, Bass Pro, Cabela's and Dick Sporting Goods all sell? Bear spray. Remember all the, you, there were uh, a number of police officers, uh, federal officers who were attacked, allegedly, and some people have been convicted since then because they used bear spray. Yeah. So maybe they were simply, you know, it seems like you attack a federal officer. Love this video? Make sure you stay up to date on the latest breaking news and all things Midas by signing up to the Midas Touch newsletter at MidasTouch.com newsletter.